Howdy, howdy everyone. Um, in the last tutorial, we created these two content types. And um, if you remember, we didn't add any validation at all uh, or constraint. So that's what we're gonna start doing in this video and, and uh, the next one. So the first one, the very, the, one of the most important validation that we can do is on the slug, okay? So a slug uh, is basically um, um, an attribute a field that we want to be automatically created on the fly and which is linked usually to the title or the um, or the uh, um, the name right so let's say we have an article called um, um, that has a particular name we want the slug to be automatically generated uh, based on that the title of that article and in our case here for this entity we want the slug of the company to be generated based on the um, the name of the company and the slog will be used um, uh, as a way to um, for example um, for SEO purposes or even to uh, fetch the data from the database so it has to be unique so for the slog to be unique and if it depends on the name it means that the name also has to be unique, right? Uh, the name has to be unique. Uh, so we're gonna make this here unique and it's gonna be required, required and unique, okay? And we're gonna save this, right? And we're gonna come here. So that's the first, um, the first um, um, constraint that we're adding here. And the slug is gonna also be required and unique okay and on top of that is going to match a specific pattern okay and um, for this you're going to use regex regular expressions i'm not going to spend a lot of time on on this but basically this is the regex that we need okay we need um our uh, slug to match this specific pattern basically what it means is that uh the regex the, the regex is telling uh contentful that for a slug to be valid, the slug that you're going to generate uh, need to be uh, alphanumeric characters, no special character except um, hyphens, and no space as well. So that's why it's going to, for example, if, if the title was this, limited character count, uh, the slug that's going to be generated is going to be the same thing, but the spaces are going to be replaced with hyphens. So that's basically what we're telling uh, Contentful here. And then the final thing we want to do is to come here in appearance and make sure that we put it, we use slug, okay? And finally, we want what which field is the slug going to be generated from, okay? Obviously, we want it to be generated from the name. And with that, we're good to go, okay? We have uh, added slugs, uh, configured the slugs for the company field, for the company content type, but we also want to do that, remember, for the job type, because the job type also has a slug. And we're gonna do the same thing here. The slug uh, for the job depends, is, is auto-generated from the title, and the slug has to be unique and, um, and required. So it means that whatever it relies on needs also to be unique and required. So we're gonna make the title unique and required, and we're gonna save, confirm, and we're gonna do the same thing here. So, okay, required, unique, and we're gonna make again the same thing here, uh, our uh, regular expression, okay, and appearance, slug, auto-generated from the title, beautiful, okay? And that's it, really. Uh, with these constraints, we are sure that when we are creating the, um, when we are going to be populating the uh, the content, I'm not going to create one here just for you to see. Let's let's say we try to create one, a company. When we start typing the name of the company, the slug is going to automatically be generated. Let's say we give lifted, you see, lifted ventures, limited, you see exactly that's exactly what we want is automatically generated and it, it it follows the pattern that we have we, we gave and it's auto generated from the name right that's that's the behavior we want this is not a video for creating the content we're going to do that in a later video but i just wanted to show you all right and i see how i i, I hope you see how our um 
of our slugs are now auto-generated perfectly well. And with that, this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.